Welcome back, gastronomes, to another episode on our channel, The Gastronomic Groove. Our culinary journey today takes us on a fascinating trip, tracing the trail of a tiny but mighty Epicurean delight, the escargot. From humble beginnings to gracing the plates of the finest dining establishments, this little snail has quite a tale to tell. If you've ever wondered how escargot carved its niche in the world of gourmet cuisine, you're in for a treat. Ready to dive into the world of this fascinating mollusk? Buckle up, because it's time to groove with the gastronomic. Did you know the consumption of snails dates back to prehistoric times? Yes, that's right. Our ancestors had a taste for these slow-moving delicacies long before the advent of modern cooking. Archaeologists have discovered snail shells in ancient human settlements, suggesting that snails were a part of the human diet even in the Paleolithic era. Picture this, our cave-dwelling forebears huddled around a fire, roasting snails on hot stones. Talk about a Stone Age cookout. But it wasn't until the Romans came along that snails were transformed from a simple food source into a symbol of status and luxury. The Romans, known for their gourmet tastes and opulent banquets, were the first to cultivate snails intentionally. They even had special snail gardens called cochlearia, where they would fatten up these small creatures on a diet of wine-soaked bread. Oh, the decadence. Roman gourmands relished these wine-fed escargots, often serving them at lavish feasts to impress their guests. Snail dishes became a mark of sophistication and social standing. The higher the social rank, the more snails you had on your plate. They were, in essence, the caviar of the Roman world. And so, from humble beginnings in prehistoric times to the extravagant dining tables of ancient Rome, snails embarked on their gastronomic journey. The Romans, with their love for luxury, certainly knew how to spot a delicacy. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and our little gastropod friends found their way into monastic diets. As the story goes, monks, who were always on the lookout for ways to enrich their rather austere diets, discovered that snails were a delightful loophole in the Lenten restrictions. You see, snails were not classified as meat, so they could be consumed during the 40-day period when the consumption of meat was prohibited. Clever, right? Well, it didn't stop there. The monks' culinary innovation soon spread throughout Europe, and the humble snail began to evolve from a Lenten workaround to a symbol of sophistication. From the lofty towers of castles to the humble tables of commoners, everyone wanted a taste of this novel delicacy. This trend laid the groundwork for the snail's ascension to the high ranks of gourmet cuisine. Monks sure did have a knack for gourmet, didn't they? Now let's cruise into the modern era, where escargot has become synonymous with French cuisine. The humble snail, once a staple of prehistoric meals, has climbed the culinary ladder to become a luxury dish, especially revered in the Burgundy region of France. In this part of the world, escargot is not just a food, it's a cultural icon. The snails are traditionally prepared with a rich blend of garlic, parsley, and butter, then served in their shells. This dish, known as escargot de Bourgogne, is a must-try for anyone visiting the region. The preparation is meticulous, with the snails first being purged for several days to cleanse their systems. They are then cooked in a court bouillon, a flavorful broth, before being removed from their shells, cleaned, and returned to the shells with the butter mixture. The dish is then baked until the butter bubbles and the snails are tender. This culinary delight is often served as an appetizer in French restaurants, presented in a special dish with recesses for each snail. The process may be laborious, but the result is a delicacy that's both savory and satisfying. Escargot has also found its way into other cuisines around the world, from the Spanish caracolas to the Italian lumache, each culture adding its unique twist to this versatile ingredient. From prehistoric meals to French fine dining, it seems Escargue has always known how to make an entrance. Now that we've traced the intriguing journey of escargot, we're curious to know your thoughts. Have you ever tried this delicacy? Or perhaps you're just contemplating giving it a whirl? Maybe you have a quirky escargot anecdote or a burning question about its history or preparation. We're all ears and eager to stir up a lively conversation. Share your escargot stories in the comments below, and let's keep the gastronomic groove going. Until next time, stay curious, stay hungry.